So for the sweet and sour chicken, I'm just starting with some riced cauliflower in a pan, nice and hot. I added some garlic, some garlic powder, a little bit of olive oil spray, and I'm going to add in some soy sauce just for some more flavor. And the chicken, this is just a raw diced like chicken breast that I diced up and threw in a pan with some salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Then I'm going to add the Campbell's um, seasoning packet to it. I just added, I believe, a fourth of a cup, um, or maybe it was a third, I can't remember, but I'll have the calories for you at the end. I also went ahead and added in some chopped broccoli to the cauliflower rice because I had some in the freezer. And I'm just going to pour the chicken right over the rice. So for the bruschetta flatbread, I'm going to start by cooking up just some raw chicken breast on the stove top. I pulled out that piece because it had one of those weird um, little like muscle pieces in it. Anyways, I'm adding garlic pepper. Um, you can find this, I believe it's a, a McCormick's seasoning. I just put them in my little jars here. Um, but you could use garlic powder, extra pepper, and like a seasoning salt would probably be pretty similar. So I dump that into the pan and start stirring that up. It's probably about medium heat. For the crust, I'm using these flat out. They are 130 calories for the whole crust. I found this bruschetta at Trader Joe's, super delicious um, and pretty low in calories as well. And then I'm topping it with the Trader Joe's glaze. This is only 40 calories per tablespoon and you don't need a lot. It's super delicious. And then a baby bell cheese, just one of those 50 calories. So I measured out, I believe it turned out to be five tablespoons of the bruschetta. I like extra tomatoes, everything. If y'all watch my channel, you definitely already know that. So I did have five tablespoons, but you can do whatever um, works for you. Then I top it with the chicken and the cheese, and then I go ahead and throw it in the oven uh, for about 10 minutes at 400 degrees, just until the flatbread is nice and crispy. Then when it comes out, I top it with the balsamic glaze. And I do like this balsamic glaze better than regular balsamic vinegar. It's not super vinegary. It has a sweetness to it, but you still get that good balsamic uh, flavor, and I am a fan. I'll definitely be making everything bruschetta in the near future. So after I just drizzled the glaze, I just cut it into basically triangles and I served it with a side salad with the Kraft Greek dressing. Next, I'm making chicken burgers. Today I used the Trader Joe's chili lime chicken burgers. You could definitely use your own or whatever you find in the freezer section at your grocery store is perfect. Um, these are also really family friendly, boyfriend friendly, you just can't go wrong with a burger. So I start by dicing up my baby Yukon Gold potatoes. I'm just quartering these, then I throw them in a 400 degree oven for anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes. I usually um, toss them halfway through in the oven, just give them a stir with a spatula. Next, I coat them with some of the Pam spray just so the seasonings will stick. I start, started with some seasoning salt, and then I added some of the Mrs. Dash um, garlic herb seasoning, and then also some regular black pepper. So these chicken burgers are frozen and not cooked at all. Um, so you're basically just cooking like raw frozen chicken. 
Um, and I put it in like a medium, medium to high skillet. And then I add the Pam to both sides because I don't want it to stick. And I usually end up seasoning at least one side of the burger, just a little extra kick. And you just flip it back and forth until the whole thing is done. The inside is completely cooked through. These are the lowest calorie buns I could find in my store. They're 130 calories. They're really good. Um, they're just not super big. But I used that and then I went ahead and topped it my chicken burger with it. I'm not using any cheese. I don't always um, put cheese on a burger because sometimes I just feel like you can't even taste it. But I used light mayo, some ketchup, lettuce, tomato, and then I didn't have any pickles so I actually used relish. It was good. It just like was really watery. So like too liquidy so I probably won't do that in the future but I just love pickles so I had to resort to the relish today. Then I measure out three quarters of a cup of the potatoes. I just kind of like do my best. They might be a little overfilled but it's potatoes and what are you going to do right? So I put those and then I use the no sugar added ketchup and a little Bullet House Farms ranch on the side. So here is the final dinner for tonight. I've got Bullet House Farms ranch, no sugar added ketchup, my delicious potatoes, and this amazing burger. I'm so pumped about it. So on this night, I just threw together something in a pinch that I had stuff in my um, fridge or freezer already. So I had some leftover chicken breast. I'm just dicing that up and I'm going to throw it in the skillet with a little bit of Pam spray. And then I have some frozen onions, onions and peppers that need to be used. So I throw all that in, add a little bit of seasonings, cook it up. And then I also add one of the minute rice cups um, to the bottom of a bowl and just make my own kind of homemade burrito bowl. So I did end up adding some black beans as well, and then I just top it with my favorite salsa and a little bit of the Bolt House Farms Salsa Verde or Avocado Salsa Verde. It was the only one I had, and you'll see me kind of struggle to get it out because I didn't have very much left, but this turned out really delicious. Um, and if you used cauliflower rice, I have a really good recipe for that, this would be only a two-point bowl, and it would just be for the ranch. So I've seen people on Instagram talk about this um, spreadable cheese situation. So I went ahead and got that and decided to make a pasta dish. So I'm using some sun-dried tomatoes, some basil, some uh, protein pasta, and then some of the Tyson black, black pepper and herb chicken breast strips. I just threw those in the air fryer for about 10 minutes. Then I um, slice up some of the basil and I do cut up the sun-dried tomatoes as well just to make them a little more bite-sized pieces and then um, I have my water ready um, getting ready to boil while I'm doing this
once I throw my pasta in, I go ahead and follow and immediately put my chicken in. I always throw it um, into my air fryer. It's not preheated at this point. Um, I use it at 360 degrees and these go for about eight to 10 minutes. So I was making two servings total and I ended up measuring out the equivalent of 10 tablespoons. Um, my scale kind of died, so you missed the end of the footage, but um, I did measure out that much. And then I forgot to film me mixing everything together, but basically just throw the chicken, the sun-dried tomatoes, and the cheese all in a pot, and then this is what you end up with. And I have to say, this was delicious. My boyfriend tried it. He was obsessed with it. We ate it straight from the pan, basically. Mm -hmm. 